Miss Marsha, and I am delighted to share this wonderful book with you called Fry Bread, A Native American Family Story. November is a time set aside to learn and to honor the indigenous people, the Native Americans, the first people who called America their home. And Fry Bread is a beautiful book about a family tradition. Um, I advise you to check it out the library, purchase it at your favorite bookstore or online because in the pages of this book, there are many important facts contained. So let's get reading and find out about Fry Bread. Fry Bread, a Native American story written by Kevin Noble Maillard and illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. When we open the end pages of this book, you will see the names of many of the Native American nations or tribes. Fry bread is food, flour, salt, water, cornmeal, baking powder, perhaps milk, maybe sugar, all mixed together in a big bowl. Fry bread is shape. Hands mold the dough, flat like a pancake, round like a ball, or puffy like Nana's softest pillow. Fry bread is sound. The skillet clangs on the stove. The fire blazes from below. Drop the dough in the skillet. The bubbles sizzle and pop. Fry bread is color, golden brown, tan or yellow, deep like coffee, sienna or earth, light like the snow and cream, warm like the rays of the sun. Fry bread is flavor. See beans or soup, smell tacos, cheese and vegetables, delight in honey and jam, rise to discover what brings us together. Fry bread is time. On weekends and holidays, supper or dinner, powwows and festivals, moments together with family and friends. Fry bread is art, sculpture, landscape, portrait, our daily craft, shared from teacher to student, a cycle of heritage and fortune. Fry bread is history, the long walk, the stolen land, strangers in our own world. With unknown food, we made new recipes from what we had. Fry bread is place, Alaska, Kansas, all the way to Maine, down to Delaware, on to Georgia, over to Oklahoma, Colorado, and California. Cities and lands we call home. Fry bread is nation, Abenaki, Apache, Arapaho, Ojibwe, Ondaga, Oglala, Sioux, Narragansett, Navajo, Nipmunk, Seminole, Shoshone, Sac, and Fox, hundreds and hundreds of tribes. Fry bread is everything, round, flat, large, small, north, south, east, west, brown, yellow, black, white, familiar and forward, foreign, old and new. We come together. Fry bread is us. We are still here, elder and young, friend and neighbor. We strengthen each other to learn, change, and survive. Fry bread is you. And that is the end of this wonderful story. If you should purchase this book or get it out of the library, the author, Kevin, put his own recipe for fry bread because the fry bread recipes are unique to each family. And here's just a little bit of the author's note. The story of fry bread is the story of American Indians embracing community and culture in the face of opposition. It is commonly believed that the Navajo, Diné, were the first to make fry bread over 150 years ago. 
The basic ingredients may appear simple, flour, salt, water, and yeast, yet the history behind the community anchor, this community anchor is anything but. Despite colonial efforts throughout American history to weaken tribal governments, fracture indigenous communities, and forcibly take their ancestral lands, Indian culture has proven resilient. In strange, unfamiliar lands, exiled natives strive to retain those old traditions, and they created new ones, especially for food. Survival meant adapting, and those ancestors, isolated from familiar meats, fruits, and vegetables, got by with what they had. Without the familiar indigenous crop of corn, historic farming practices, dietary traditions drastically changed. Many tribes trace the origin of modern Indian cooking to this government-caused deprivation, from federal rations of powdered, canned, and other dried government-issued food, bread was born. And there's many, 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 many more um, important pieces of information contained in the back pages of these books. And I advise you to check it out of the library or purchase it at your favorite bookstore or on Amazon yourself, because it's really important to learn about the Native Americans' culture, because they are the first people our first people who were here. And that is the end of this beautiful story. I just wanted to share this. I hope you enjoyed this story, Fry Bread, a beautiful Native American story. There are some wonderful, wonderful resources on our website. If you go to www.selfhelpcpc.org, you will find on the calendar page for today where you found this story, some wonderful resources, as well as in our November newsletter. Have a great day. Music